Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. Alright, let's check it out. Let's see what we got for you right now. We have a very interesting British car. Very attractive to me. The color really is a standout in this diecast. But altogether, this model was very attractive, very fashionable, very luxurious, but not the most reliable. And that's quite an issue that this brand had lately, has lately, and throughout the years. Unfortunately, Jaguar is not the greatest in being reliable. But let me do a proper presentation. What we got in front of us right now. It's a 143 scale, 1998 Jaguar XJ8. Now, this specific Jaguar XJ8 came out in, 19, in July 1997. I'm sorry, 1998 all the way down to 2003. This model right here, it's it's just it's just very very attractive. I don't know if you guys think the same way, but I even I see them in person many times. The interior, the wood, I mean, even has fold down tables in the back seats. It's just very very fat. I mean, real wood. You can see the the quality. But unfortunately, not the most reliable. Engine-wise, and all these vehicles, they were all V8s, 8 cylinders. You had a 3.2, and you had a 4.0, and you had a 4.0 supercharged. So you want to make sure you have that extra punch in power. Now this one, I mean, this model came as a 5-speed automatic. Also has a five speed um actually the only came as automatics. The only came as automatics, no five speed manuals here. Usually luxury luxury cars it's not easy to find them as a in a manual transmission. Usually they don't they keep them they keep them on um Automatics only. Now, talking about this car right here, they had a small wheelbase and a large wheelbase because they wanted to make sure they cover. You know, some people that used to own these cars were like people of the high class, you know, people with money, people that want to have an extra space. And, but you didn't want to have a Lincoln Town car or you didn't want to have that, you know, that long huge limousines but you want to have something very luxurious you could probably order a long base which is a little longer than the regular base um jaguar by the way guys so you know this model is made by ixo ixo always makes great looking die cast very very attractive and this color like i said before in my presentation I really like it and this car in specific if you've seen this car very well made all the details are there the car really is a standout it truly truly is a standout I really like the way they made it they really did a good job Ixo always tries to Pull out the best they can in their models and their paint job and their quality and the details are all in there. Alright guys, so I'm going to let it go around a few times and I'll be right right back.
All right, guys. So, what do you guys think about this Jaguar? Do you do you find it was a, a hit or it was a miss? Do you find that Jaguar could have done better with their being more reliable? I know this is the era where, if I'm not mistaken, Jaguar was part of Ford. I'm not fully sure if this is the era or, the, or this is right before that. When Ford bought Jaguar. I know Ford unfortunately was not the best parent. You know with Jaguar. Like they did also with um, I think Volvo. You know. But uh, they no, if I'm not mistaken they no longer own Jaguar. But again not fully fully sure. But I think this model was very attractive. It was a modernized look from the old school Jaguar from the 80s very attractive and they were quite powerful but again they were also gas guzzlers they drank a lot of gasoline <laughs> or petrol alright guys don't forget to give me that beautiful thumbs up that I always you know remind you guys to do it because it shows me that you're interested in these videos as much as I'm in uh, enjoy making them for you don't forget to click and subscribe and when you click and subscribe do not forget to click the bell next to the subscribe button that will remind you when I'm posting more videos okay guys take care of yourselves more than ever as I always say it goodbye